Hey beautiful people, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video where I'll be doing a first impression slash wear test of the Patrick Ta. Let me figure out the name of this foundation. <laughs> it is his Turn Up The Base Full Beat Waterproof Liquid Foundation. Now I don't actually have the full bottle because it didn't make sense for me to buy the full bottle just to try it, but I was able to get a sample of the foundation in Sephora. So I got a pretty generous sample and I thought I would do a video just testing it out for you guys in case this was something that you were interested in picking up. Now this, I pretty sure I talked about this in a new makeup releases video. It's something that appealed to me because One Size is a brand that is pretty well known for sticking with, and I shouldn't say sticking with, but really focusing on oily skin, mattifying products, full glam, which is very different from where I think a lot of trends have led makeup brands to being oily, not oily, being very dewy, being very hydrated, being very glowy. And to me that translates into oily because I have oily skin. So I've always appreciated the brand for having a more mattifying focus because it feels like a lot of brands have strayed away from that. So I was interested in it because it is intended to be a mattifying foundation. It is a full coverage foundation. So it is full beat, which I am more of like a medium gal. So not really something that I was super like excited for, but I still thought that it was worth a try. Now, some additional product details before we dive into the demo is that this is available at Sephora. It's available at the One Size um, website and maybe at some other places. And it retails for $44. It also comes in 38 shades. At least that's what I'm seeing here on Sephora. Now I do want to insert a little bit of a video because I had a hard time finding my shade in this foundation. So when I when I went in to get the sample of this, I actually went into the Sephora at Kohl's, which is the closest Sephora near me, and there were three shades, the, the three shades next to each other that I tried. I just, I didn't understand. <laughs> so from the lightest to the darkest swatch, we have dark deep. 15 which is a gold which has a golden undertone which you can see is pretty light for my complexion and then right after that we jump to dark deep 25 neutral which is the shade that i actually picked up in terms of the sample and that is a neutral undertone and then the darkest swatch on my face is dark deep 35 neutral golden which is too dark now i think that i am somewhere truly in between dark deep 15 and dark deep 25 and I'm just confused as to how we went from that light shade <laughs> to the next because it does feel like a pretty stark jump for me and I think even swatched on my face I was a little bit confused as to how we got there. Now once you get into the very very rich shades they do have some gorgeous rich shades for much deeper complexions but I just was confused because I, I'm, I'm more of a medium deep. Um, than anything else and a lot of times brands will oftentimes give us the you know the token dark shade and then there's that weird jump where they go from like medium to like token dark and everybody that's in the medium deep category gets forgotten so I think for a brand that has almost 40 shades that jump was insane it didn't make no kind of sense I'm just being very very frank so even though I'm testing out this foundation for you guys and I'm wearing it right now um I couldn't find a shade for me. I'm just being honest. I, there was no shade for me. So just something to be mindful of, but you guys will see when I demo the shade on my face as I apply it, you'll see what it looks like. This is the beginning of the wear test, so I'll come back at the end and you guys will see how this foundation wears throughout the day. Uh, a couple final claims before we dive in is that this does claim to be a long wear, waterproof, sweatproof foundation. Uh, that has only 16 ingredients that gives full coverage and maximum comfort to visibly blur and smooth without clogging pores. So it is pretty comfortable right now. We will see how that goes. So let's go ahead, dive into the demo, and then the time checks throughout the day for the wear test, and then I'll come back at the end and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm actually gonna test out the foundation with two different primers. The first one that I'm gonna put on the left side of my face is from What's Up Beauty. This is their Positivity Primer, and this one is technically a hydrating primer, so I wanna see how this holds up with the matte foundation. And then, do they call it a matte foundation? Anyways, on the second half of my face, this one is from Danessa Myricks. This is the Mattifying and Firming Face Serum. I'm using this one instead of the blurring balm powder because I know that that one works like crazy ah! and my face is just a little dry today so it actually does need some hydration so that's what we're gonna go in with so on this side we have Danessa Marek's blurring balm oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh 
Ooh, try to make sure it doesn't get into my eyebrow. It's such a liquidy consistency. And then on this side, we have the What's Up Beauty Hydrating Primer. And I'm looking this way because I'm looking in my viewfinder. So here we have the Hydrating Primer. Definitely looks really nice and dewy and radiant on this side of the face. And this is the Mattifying Primer from Denise Myricks. Okay, so they gave me a pretty generous sample of the foundation. This is Dark Deep 25. And I'm going to just use a little spatula and spread it across my face. And I'm trying not to do too much because the shade range in this is questionable at best. Which is surprising for Patrick. And I do think that this oxidizes a little bit. You can already see it kind of starting to. Oh my gosh, is this too dark? Jesus. Okay, I have this little merit brush. It's a little dirty. Let it go. I ain't have none else. And I like to spray my brushes a little bit before I go in with it. It's already oxidizing. Okay, let's blend this in. I don't even feel right as I'm blending. She's full coverage, dog. Maybe I should use less. God damn. And is it me? Or is it giving orange? I feel a little orange. I don't know how I like this undertone. Okay, just do our best. Okay, I think with, if we stop here, it's fine. But this is definitely not a foundation I would go in with a second layer on, just because the color is a little bit off on me. I do feel like I look a little bit orange. Let me know if it's coming off that way in the camera, but in person, it's a little orange. And I do know that this foundation does oxidize a little bit. So I'm also kind of like concerned as to what this is gonna turn into within like an hour or something. So I'm not gonna add it much more. In terms of sort of like the finish, it is pretty dry already. So it's a very matte without even doing anything to like set it down. I really like, the finish of this in terms of how matte it is because this might actually be something that you can wear with either no primer or with a hydrating primer so so far so good anyways let me go ahead finish up the rest of my face i'll come back show you guys the final look and then we'll start our wear test tell how it's almost done because of how it basically farted in my face. I'm just gonna go in with sponge and tap that in. Okay, so this is the final face. Let me bring you guys in. This left side here is where I had the hydrating primer from What's Up Beauty. This right side is where I had the mattifying primer from Danessa Myricks. They look the same as of right now, but you know. <laughs> It is still pretty, pretty early. Okay, so for timing, it is 8.55 a.m. I'm about to start my workday. 
this is what we're starting with. I will try to do at least two check-ins, um, just so you guys can see how this wears. I will do my very best not to touch up. I shouldn't have to touch up. So what I will try to do is to check in on my lunch break and then check in at the end of my workday so that you guys can see how this wears for a full workday. I don't have a pretty strenuous job and I'm working from home today so I don't I'm not like expecting to like sweat or anything I might do a little bit of a stretch during my work through my lunch break so I mean I shouldn't wake up with sweat there but I'm saying I see all that to say this is me testing it with, without like any like strenuous activity or being outside in the elements I should say so take that for what you will but i do want to see how this performs just generally anyways thanks for watching i hope you guys well that i shouldn't end the video because it's it's not the end anyways i'll see you guys in a couple hours okay so we are here for the 12 15 check-in this is what the face is looking like quite frankly i mean i am getting a little shiny in the t-zone so it i mean it is what it is i am like on the oily side but i feel like where I put the mattifying primer is just a little bit shinier. You know what I mean? Let me know. So up close and personal with me and my pores, this is the face. This side has the hydrating primer, which to me is looking a lot more matte than this side. This is the side that had the mattifying primer. Like I have a lot of shininess here. See right here. I mean, or is it equal? Am I making it up? I mean, my nose is definitely shiny. But I haven't blotted. I haven't done anything. I haven't touched up at all. I don't think that I'm going to blot. I think I'll just let it keep getting shiny for a couple more hours. Maybe I'll check back in at around like 3 so you guys can see what it looks like then. I'm going to go eat lunch. Um, and then I'll check in at 3, let you guys see what it looks like. It's not bad though. So I am getting shiny, but it's still really, really good. And then to come in a little bit closer, real up close with my pores, you guys can really see, it's really just my nose. And here, this side somehow I feel is giving shinier. Yeah, like this is still pretty good, but on this side, I feel like my pores are poking through. A little bit of shine on the forehead here. Some on the chin area around the mouth but this is where I always get really 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 shiny okay I'm gonna take my oily face out of your face <laughs> and then we'll come back in a couple hours maybe around three o'clock so you guys can see what it looks like okay it is officially 3 14 I know the like lighting is a little bit weird and that's just because the sun is you know it's fall the sun gets a little bit weird I do have some artificial lights going so that it, you can actually see my face. But this is what the face is looking like. Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. So this is the half of my face that had the hydrating primer on. This is the half that had the mattifying primer on. I don't know about y'all, but the matte primer did nothing. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say it did nothing, but this side is, in my opinion, shinier than this side. Overall, I am beginning to see my oils peek through, especially around my nose area. It is breaking up. Like, am I missing foundation? I think I might be. I had some crab and dumplings today, so I might be missing a little bit of foundation around the mouth area, nose area, but I, it is, my oils are peeking through. So this isn't like 100% oily skin proof. But it is doing a very good job considering that I have not blotted a single time today. That being said, I'm sure if I were to pat my face now, I would get transfer. Actually, do I have anything? I don't have any like tissue or anything with me. And I don't think I wanna, pat. I just wanna see how it wears. Like at five, I'll wash this off. So I'll come back and give you guys a final test because then I gotta get ready to go to, to the gym. But I will say it's holding up really nicely. Better with the hydrating primer, surprisingly. Um, yeah. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. And one thing I will flag though is that I have worn this inside all day. So in terms of how this holds up in the elements, that's another question entirely. But this is what the face is looking like at 3 p.m. So let's do one final check-in and then I'll wrap up with my overarching thoughts. Okay, so I'm back. This is the final check-in. Yes, the lighting is weird and that's because it is 4.59, basically 5 p.m. So... It is pretty dark outside. You guys know what it is in fall. So let me just say, my face doesn't look terrible. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. 
still got a little bit of shine going on i didn't blot i didn't do anything and i do have artificial lights going here so it is making it a little bit more blown out let me see if i can lower this there we go so <clears throat> you can see she is oily the oils are peeking through so i but i don't think that it's bad i don't think that this is the worst considering that i have not blotted a single time today so i do have a little napkin and i just want to quickly blot show you guys what the face is looking like starting with the half of my face that was supposed to be more matte see it's all that oil there that blotted really nicely still this half okay so this is how much product came off from blotting all right so let me zoom out a little well this is what the face is looking like okay so the lights are weird <laughs> sorry about that but let me just wrap things up with just some like final thoughts for you guys on this um foundation again sorry for the lighting so pros and cons pros i think it did a really good job at keeping my face matte keeping my oils at bay even though we saw the oils peeking through after a couple of hours that's kind of standard for me but i've seen it be way worse with some foundations is this the most mattifying foundation that i've ever used no but is it a really good one yeah so i do think that it is a solid mattifying foundation i didn't test the waterproof theory or anything like that i don't know if i would ever need to but i will say overall it does seem pretty long wearing in my opinion so that's, I think, the big pro. Let's talk about the cons, though. Like you guys saw in the intro and like I talked about, I think, when I was applying it, the shade range of this just doesn't work for me. The shade that I have is definitely not <laughs> my perfect shade, but I was able to make it work. And I do think that because it doesn't have the right shade for me, it's not a foundation that I would be interested in picking up a full size of. Because in addition to it not having a shade for me, because this is a full coverage foundation, it's gonna show up. It would have been different if the shade was off and it was a little bit more sheer, more medium to light coverage, then you can kind of make it with. I find that because it, because full coverage foundations are so apparent that you do notice when it doesn't match. <laughs> and this one does oxidize a little bit. So like in terms of the shade range, it just does not work for me. That's not to say you won't find a shade for you because they are 38 shades. So it might work for somebody else, just not for me. I thought that was a bit problematic. In terms of like how it feels wearing, I will say that it is pretty lightweight. It's not the most lightweight foundation I've ever worn in that it is noticeable on the face. Like I could feel that I'm wearing foundation. So it's not that it's uncomfortable, but it is noticeable. So something to be mindful of there as well. Other than that, I don't think I have any real complaints about this foundation. It's nice. Like I said, I won't pick up a full bottle because it doesn't have the right shade for me and I honestly don't need any more foundations. But I really had fun testing this out. And what I do want to do is probably get another sample in the summertime because I also want to acknowledge that I wore this foundation today at home. It is getting into the, that wintry month, so it's a lot colder, so I'm not like sweating. I wasn't doing anything strenuous that required me to like get oilier. So this would be a foundation I would want to retry in the summer months when I do have more oil things happening or simply like wearing it on a night out where I can actually test it where I'm being more active. So that is something that I did not do for this wear test. So something to be mindful of. That being said, this held up really well. I think my face looks insanely good for how long I've been wearing this. So it's worth checking out if you were in the hunt for a good foundation. Now, even though my face still looks like perfection after a little blotting, I'm gonna go wash it out because I gotta go to the gym and it's time to wrap up this wear test. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you've tried out the foundation. If you guys saw the shade range or like swatched it and also had the same issue that I did, please let me know all that in the comments below. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you again and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.